I not running? Because the Dicky Summer Blizzard menu was only here for a few more weeks. Dairy Queen is a fan favorite when it comes to frozen treats, but there are some things that even die-hard fans may not be aware of. So get ready to dig into 10 secrets every Dairy Queen fan needs to know. I can't keep a secret. You can if you try. They'll serve you your blizzard upside down. This is where Will is. The Upside Down. The Dairy Queen franchise is probably best known for its blizzards, a creamy dessert consisting of delicious soft serve mixed with other goodies that the customer chooses. Blizzards are so popular that the chain has even opened locations in travel terminals, such as airports, to add to the experience for customers on the go. Sometimes, though, the blizzards are so popular that the chain runs out of ingredients. This has happened in locations all over the country, which shows just how popular this famous treat has become. It's likely that if you've ever purchased a blizzard from Dairy Queen that they flipped it upside down first before handing it to you. There's a good explanation for this. The blizzard, according to Dairy Queen, is distinct from other frozen desserts because of how thick it is. Therefore, most Dairy Queen employees will serve you your blizzard upside down to demonstrate to consumers that their frozen treats truly defy gravity and are so thick and creamy. If this flip does not happen, you may be eligible for a free blizzard. However, there's a catch. Junior Blizzard Marshal at the Dairy Queen. The website for Dairy Queen states that not all locations will offer you a free blizzard if it is not presented upside down. The website claims that each restaurant's independent franchise owner chooses whether to provide the upside down or next one's free promotion and whether to invert blizzard treats at their particular location. Make sure the location is part of the offer before getting overly enthusiastic about this prospect and ordering a blizzard while anticipating a sophisticated upside-down trick. If not, all you will get is disappointment. Mark Cuban worked at DQ for a day. Mark Cuban, that's me! You might be surprised to learn that entrepreneur and Shark Tank participant Mark Cuban has previously worked at Dairy Queen and not just as a teenager working a part-time job. Owner of the Dallas Mavericks basketball franchise, Mark Cuban got himself into trouble when he disparaged Ed Rush, the director of NBA officials. Cuban declared that Ed was a fantastic referee, but he would never hire the man to manage a Dairy Queen. Who is that man? And why isn't his enthusiasm being punished? Cuban was subsequently penalized by the NBA with a $500,000 fine for his repeated public criticism of NBA officiating. However, the event didn't finish there. Actually, Cuban took a flight to a Dairy Queen in Dallas to work there for a day. As he took orders, served up goodies, and even created some blizzards for customers, Cuban seemed to be a natural behind the counter. He is a quick learner, and the managers were actually impressed with his performance. Lest anyone assume the billionaire is beyond serving burgers and fries, it's obvious that Cuban worked hard at Dairy Queen and can now talk from experience when dissing the refs. DQ bought Orange Julius. Where are you? They had an Orange Julius. If you've ever visited a Dairy Queen, you may have noticed that occasionally they offer unique menu items that go beyond the usual soft serve, burgers, or even ice cream shakes. Most Dairy Queen menus also feature a whole section devoted to a type of beverage that you may not have even heard of. While the Orange Julius restaurant franchise isn't as well known as it once was, you can still enjoy the delicious beverage at most Dairy Queen locations. Ah, uh, Orange Julius, a classic. A conventional Orange Julius contains orange juice, sugar, milk, vanilla, and egg whites. The beverage enjoyed great success from the 1950s through the 1980s, but it truly took off after after Dairy Queen acquired the trademark in 1988. In reality, after the buyout, many Dairy Queen outlets also changed to Orange Julius locations, and the two businesses amalgamated to become one. In addition to the traditional Orange Julius, Dairy Queen also offers smoothies and a strawberry banana Orange Julius beverage under the Orange Julius brand. Now that you know where to go, you can satisfy your want for a creamy orange beverage whenever it arises. A strange rumor about the burger. This is a rapper. 
Over the years, Dairy Queen has evolved from a simple ice cream restaurant to a global brand with thousands of locations across the world. One of the ways the company has expanded over the years is by introducing new menu items. One of the most popular menu items has to be the DQ Burger, which has become a staple at many DQ locations. The DQ Burger is a simple burger with a variety of toppings such as onions, cheese, lettuce, and tomato. Dairy Queen is quite well recognized and well liked for its culinary offerings in addition to its delectable frozen sweets and snacks these days. However, there have been some concerns about the hamburgers. Look at this sorry, miserable, squashed thing. Someone once alleged that the burgers Dairy Queen was selling included human flesh. However, Dairy Queen insists it couldn't be more false. The FBI raid at a Dairy Queen in Greenwood, South Carolina is what gave rise to this odd claim. The manager of this particular location told the media that this raid was not in regards to the hamburger meat, but actually to find an employee that worked there who was wanted by the police. The FBI was looking for a person operating an illegal money transfer business. Therefore, there is no danger that you will be eating any human bit when you order a Dairy Queen burger. No one is sure how this strange rumor actually came to be, but it sure caught the attention of DQ fans quickly. The soft serve recipe is extremely important. First bowl of a new era. Oh. Dairy Queen soft serve is one of many tasty treats that the DQ menu has to offer. It's an absolute classic American treat, and its flavor is known all around the world. Dairy Queen soft serve is often described as a frozen dairy product due to its similarity to ice cream. However, it can't actually be called ice cream by definition. Anyone who has eaten Dairy Queen soft serve is likely curious about how they might manufacture the recipe at home. However, the formula for the renowned Dairy Queen soft serve continues to be a well-guarded secret. The formula is actually so secret and hush-hush that Dairy Queen management refused to even bring it up in an interview with media and said that no one could possibly know the secret. You know, our secret recipe is, uh a secret. <laughs> to what makes that smooth, creamy, ice-cold delicacy so delectable. It is held in a safe deposit box with only a few keys, so there's no way they could reveal what's contained in that formula. It seems logical that the business would want to keep the formula under stringent lock and key given the iconic nature of the soft serve and the fact that it is used in another fan favorite from Dairy Queen, the Blizzard. Now you know just how seriously Dairy Queen takes their soft serve, if you didn't before. No Doubt formed their band at Dairy Queen. Do you guys want to join us? You would not immediately associate a pop-punk band from the 1990s with Dairy Queen, but in actuality, No Doubt was born in a Dairy Queen. John Spence, a former member of No Doubt, was key to the band's exciting start. While working at a Dairy Queen, John Spence and Eric Stefani discussed forming a band. Stefani bought a keyboard and the pair gathered together a group of musicians, which included Eric's sister, Gwen Stefani, who also worked at the Dairy Queen. They practiced in Eric and Gwen's parents' garage. The group members made the decision to take music seriously in 1986. Perhaps it should be our song for the Eurovision Song Contest. No, no, no. While making chocolate-dipped cones at their local Dairy Queen. That's quite an awesome origin story, and Gwen Stefani said she earned her first cash working at Dairy Queen in an interview. Gwen Stefani and No Doubt thus established unequivocally that famous people are in fact exactly like us. Of course, not everyone starts their first actual job and forms a world-famous band, but you get the idea. The famous blizzards aren't actually ice cream. Yeah, yeah, I like ice cream. Ice cream. Dairy Queen, the world's largest ice cream slash fast food restaurant chain, is known for its hand-dipped ice cream, dilly bars, and friendly service. But did you know there are more than 4,000 Dairy Queen locations across the United States? That's more than any other chain of its kind. Dairy Queen is one of the most successful chains in the country. Most certainly, ice cream is first to come to mind when you think of the goodies at Dairy Queen. After all, soft serve is cold and creamy, and isn't that what ice cream is? Well, not always. <laughs>
It turns out that the soft serve and blizzard delights from Dairy Queen don't match the specifications set out by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to qualify as ice cream. In truth, the Dairy Queen website says that their soft serve does not technically meet the definition of actual ice cream. The soft serve only contains 5% butter fat, which is less than the 10% minimum required to be considered ice cream. So there's a reason Dairy Queen won't call it ice cream, even though it's a delectable frozen delicacy. Well, no matter what you call it, it's still an incredibly mouth-watering treat. The original DQ menu was simple and cheap. What the hell do you kids want? Oh, right, ice cream. Like many other fast food restaurants, Dairy Queen has undergone a number of alterations since its creation. The company has been operating for so long that it seems to reason that certain things like the menu would be different today than it was then. The menu at Dairy Queen was much more condensed and straightforward before it first started serving food. In actuality, it took Dairy Queen a nine full years after its founding before milkshakes and malts were added to the menu in 1949. The original Dairy Queen menu differed significantly from what is offered today. Although they did initially provide soft serve cones and ice cream sundaes, the prices of their most well-liked offerings were quite astonishing. I always say that I was born too late. A fresh hot fudge sundae was only 8 cents, and a soft serve cone was only 5 cents. Although the tasty new items on the Dairy Queen menu are unquestionably appreciated, bringing back the lower prices of yesteryear would be great. The Blizzard wasn't on the menu until 1985. And I can't believe it didn't exist before. The Dairy Queen Blizzard is loaded with soft serve ice cream and fun toppings, making for an ultimate dessert. The Blizzard starts with your choice of vanilla soft serve and then adds a combination of your favorite mix-ins. Anything from candy bars to pieces of brownie have been added into a Blizzard, and the chain is constantly churning out new combinations and famous flavors, so there's always something new to try. It's really one of the best ways to cool down on a warm day. Although the blizzard may be the most well-known item offered at Dairy Queen, just take a little taste. <laughs> it wasn't on the menu when the restaurant first debuted. According to the Dairy Queen website, the blizzard took around 45 years before making its appearance on the DQ menu. Believe it or not, the blizzard only first appeared in DQ shops in 1985, and diners were quickly enamored. The blizzard was so significant that it received coverage in the New York Times nearly a year after it was first released. It was unquestionably the biggest thing to happen to Dairy Queen since their opening. The blizzard was a huge hit in America, and restaurants employees said that the machines were typically operating non-stop to keep up with client demand. It's hard to imagine a time when you could visit a Dairy Queen and not find the popular delicacy on the menu. They've been around since the 1940s. Who's up for Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen! Although most Dairy Queen locations now have a contemporary appearance and a modernized menu, the chain undoubtedly has a lengthy history. Even though Dairy Queen has evolved throughout the years, looking back at its beginnings is still rather intriguing. The company's history also explains why so many individuals consider Dairy Queen to be a completely traditional fast food restaurant. The first Dairy Queen was opened in Joliet, Illinois in 1940, and today the company has more than 6,000 locations worldwide. The first Dairy Queen to open up outside the U.S. was in Saskatchewan, Canada in 1953. The first international location was opened in Sydney, Australia in 1974, and today Dairy Queen has locations in close to 30 countries. Dairy Queen has certainly been around for a while, and because it truly has at its beginnings in a tiny Illinois community, it has a strong all-American reputation. Dairy Queen is the sort of establishment that people yearn for when on a road trip through the United States or when they're in need of some chilly comfort food. Born in middle America, Dairy Queen represents what many Americans feel is the true flavor of their childhood on a hot summer day. Stick around, leave a comment, and check out another great video. Thanks for watching.